little crafters. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. My name is Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library and I have a craft for you today. Can you believe it's November already? November is the month that we give thanks and so I've got some crafts for you this week about being thankful. Now, as you can see here, I've got one of our pigeon books. Pigeon is one of our favorite books here at the library by Mo Willems. And so we are gonna make this awesome little pigeon who's in disguise like a turkey. So let's take a look at what's in our packet. When you grab your packet here from the, at the library, you're gonna have some sunglasses, you're gonna have some multiple colors of construction paper, you're gonna have an I am thankful little writing um, piece of paper, you're gonna have some black, and you're going to have the pigeon template. So you're gonna need to have your scissors, for this craft and some glue stick. I think that's probably all. So the first thing we wanna do is to cut things out. Now, if you'll notice, this is actually the flap on our pigeon, okay? And so where the dotted lines are, that means we're gonna cut it out, but we're gonna fold it. So don't cut it off. That's a big mistake a lot of students make is when they see the dotted lines, they go ahead and cut it right off, and we don't want that to happen. So we're just gonna take our scissors, and it's okay that the black shows or doesn't show, but take your time as you go around this body of the pigeon and cut that out. Okay, and we're just gonna set that off to the side and make sure you always throw your trash in the garbage. All right, let's cut out pigeon. So boys and girls, what's your favorite pigeon story? If you haven't read any, you need to definitely come here um, to the library and grab a pigeon book or come see me on the bookmobile because Mo Willems does pigeon. He also does piggy and elephant. And so those are some very popular stories that you can find at the library. And this little pigeon, he's really cute. So I'm just gonna finish cutting him out and then we're gonna put him in disguise and make him look like a turkey. All right. Just gonna finish cutting him out, going all the way around his body. Okay. Now, remember what I told you about how this, this piece folds. So where this piece folds, we're just gonna flip this over and fold it down. And then if we've cut it out just right, it should match the body of your pigeon, okay? Now before we do all that, we're gonna take this part, the I am thankful part, and you can see very lightly the same outline shape as the pigeon. So we're just gonna cut around here, and if it doesn't quite fit, we can always alter it and change it. So let's see if I'm doing a pretty good job of matching that up. Oh, it's a little big. See how I turned it over to see where it didn't match? So we're just gonna trim that off. We don't want any of that showing. At the top, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down with our glue stick. There's a place right there for your name, boys and girls. So you can say, like I can say, Miss Lisa is thankful four, and then we have several lines. So what are you thankful for? Thankful for your mom and dad and for your house, maybe for your, your pets, and for the food that you eat. There's a lot of lines there that you can write some things down. Now, this part is going to flip up, and so we're gonna stick that right there. Yeah. All right, so if, if you see, notice what I've done, I've actually slid it back behind the pigeon, and so then it will flap open. So on this flap right here that I've cut, we're gonna take our glue stick and just rub it nice and thick, because it is construction paper. You wanna have a lot there. And then just slide it under there and press it down tight. And then we're, we got your body of the pigeon. And then you're gonna flip it open, and you're gonna tell me what you're thankful for. All right, now we need to put him in disguise. So we're gonna take um, our different colors. Now the orange, you need to make a feather out of orange, plus you need to make a little beak because we're going to cover up what's there. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make sort of a triangle here. And I'm hoping it's as big as that was, yeah. So I'm gonna cover that up. And if you didn't quite make it large enough the first time, try again, it's no problem. So we're gonna put that on there. 
And then we have this red. Um, turkeys have um, this part here and the part down under his chin. And so I'm just going to cut a little bit here. And I'm going to make a wave. I'm going to go up and down and up and down. And let's see. And it's too small. Well, I guess that's not too bad. Might want it a little bit bigger, but for the sake of time and for the sake of making enough feathers, I am just going to glue that little crown right there on the top of his head. Okay. Now we need to make the little, the little giblet part too. I'm going to use this little part to have the little part that hangs down under his chin. So I'm just going to make a rectangle and just sort of make a, make a teardrop make an oval thing that's going to hang down under there. All right. We're changing pigeon into a turkey. All right. Now we have, actually, I guess I don't need too much more red. I'm going to take and make feathers. So I'm going to lay my other three colors on top of each other. And we want them to be about an inch wide so that they can go across his back here. And just to make it simple, I'm just making an oval. And I'm going to come down and taper it just a little bit so it's a little skinnier across the bottom. And then we can put our feathers in. So I'm just going to flip this over and put the glue down here. Just rub it on there a lot and put the three feathers right in there. And then I can turn it over and adjust it if I need to adjust it a little bit. All right. Now, uh, he has a little collar, and actually, um, I can make the white collar out of what was left of the I th I'm Thankful paper, and I can just cut a little rectangle and give him his little collar, color that in so that he sort of matches the pigeon in the book. And it's a little, little long, so I'm going to flip it over and give it a trim. All right, so that looks good. Now we need legs, and then we need to disguise him with his uh, sunglasses. All right, so for legs, you have a lot of paper, and you can make his legs pretty long if you want to. What I suggest to do is just fold the paper in half, and you might even want to trace it out if you want to. I'm going to make just the L shape with my pencil, just nice and light, just the big L, capital letter L. And then I'm going to cut it out, two pieces of paper on top of each other, so they'll be exactly the same. Now this, I realize, is really long, but it's always better to go a little bit bigger because you can always trim down. All right, so <laughs> he would be like a flamingo with those long legs. All right. And you can make him just walking straight, or you can make him walk a little crooked. So um, I think I definitely need to trim those down a little bit. It might even be a little too wide, but you get the idea. So I'm going to flip him over again, and we're going to put a little glue spot and glue a leg in. Put another glue spot and glue the leg in. And that way it looks like he's a walking. Well, that looks like he's a walking weirdly. I don't like that at all. So let's <laughs> maybe change that a little bit, and maybe this part shouldn't be so long. Let's trim that part off. That looks a little better, huh? All right, so you can play around with what kind of legs you want him to have. Um, let me look at my original one. Oh, you know why they look weird? They're backwards. All right, he's, we don't want him walking backwards. All right, let's turn him around. <laughs> let's let him go forward. That's the problem with turning it over sometimes, I guess. So let's see. If we want him to walk this way, let's have him walk forward. We can put the glue and then slide it under. That might be a little bit better of an idea. All right, let's slide that up underneath there. Now we have Pigeon walking in the right direction. Oh my goodness. All right, even Miss Lisa makes mistakes. Okay, now the best part is the sunglasses. Now these sunglasses are sort of really um, deep and we don't need them that deep, and I'll show you why here in just a minute. If you cut it out exactly the way it is on the paper, go around the whole edge there. I mean, some glasses 
noses are deep like that, but that looks a little weird to me. So what I like to do is trim this off some so it's not so deep, so that they're a little rounder. And you can make whatever, whatever shape sunglasses you like. Oops, where'd it go? There it is. You just wanna make sure that it's big enough sort of there to cover his eye. And so once you've covered his eye, and you're gonna see that it's sort of hanging off the paper, up, up over on his nose, which is what you want. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on that one lens and cover up his eyeball. And then to finish making it look like glasses, you're going to want to use your Sharpie or a black marker of some kind and have it, give it the arm part of the sunglasses so that it can hang up over his ear. And there we go, boys and girls, isn't he sweet? All right, here we have our little pigeon in disguise. And he is telling us what we are thankful for. I like this craft and I hope you do too. Please come on down to the library and grab a packet and start thinking about what you're thankful for. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Crafty Corner and I'm Miss Lisa and I'll see you again next week. Bye now.